Hit the like, hit subscribe, and hit that notifications bell. Thank you very much. Enjoy. To the Zero Phobic 73 channel, and this is Doctor Who. Then and now, I take uh, the episodes from transmission date. Um, I gave my review essentially after that time, and now, as the time changed, has the dust settled? Do I feel indifferent about the episode now, six to eight months on? Um, let's find out. This is episode three. And this is Rosa. The storyline goes the Doctor is trying to get them back to Sheffield present day uh, before leaving the Doctor traces uh, Archon energy from what she, he, what she would assume is from a future time travelling machine uh, so tracing that lands the TARDIS back in 1955 uh, Alabama during the civil rights movement where Rosa Parks played a pivotal role in the civil activist uh, movement um, comes across uh, a uh, what we assume would be a time agent that actually is a murder psychopath called uh, Crasco. Uh, so Crasco is there primarily to stop Rosa Parks, change the timeline, unbeknownst to the Doctor, till uh, penultimately at the end of the episode she has to keep the timeline fixed. Uh, during the episode we come across obviously examples of racial uh, abuse and I think even uh, Ryan comes across and gets a slap across the face from a um, from a, an American not sure if we needed to see that we know we know racism uh, every day with examples of that I don't think who really needs to exhibit that to, to the scene as played it to that extent but um, in essence, what I've said about the episode before, and what we, we will see what I said then in a second. Don't worry, I'll get to that. What I've said about the episode before, it was, was, it was stellar, it was brilliant. Um, whether the Doctor needs that, I don't think it does, but it has to be said, a very good piece of BBC period drama that Doctor Who's intervention, so we know what I felt about this. Anyway, this is what I said then. Wow. Subject matter, without a doubt, is going to upset a couple of people. But if you take it down to the premise that it is basically just a very, very good story telling, um, and there's a few sort of poignant. Uh, there is, yeah, really a poignant message um, behind that. Uh, very good, uh, a stellar, stellar. Uh, all I can say is basically it. For my, for my perspective an absolute masterpiece uh, I can't fault the storytelling um, production everything it was really there what it needs to be brilliant I don't want to give yeah go on, for, for the sake of this review I have to give a sort of a few plot lines away so you've got the likes of a doctor intervening on the um, trying to basically help Rosa Parks not being a specific point in time where um, she has to be from point A to point B and actually turns out that uh, the Doctor, despite uh, her actions, his actions, that's going to get some getting used to, um, Doctor's actions and companions have to be a specific point to help Rosa and it just turns out that basically they are part of fixed history. It's a fixed point in time, for lack of a better word. Um, and the point, um, the point, uh, point of the episode is: doesn't matter how much power you have, you are the Doctor. A fixed point is a fixed point, and um, no matter how you try and change history, history simply will will be there to be played out, and the events of which unfurl cannot be changed. So the suffering is the suffering, and there's obviously going to be people that. Uh, We'll have a change of opinion on this, but uh, as far as what my opinion goes and what I saw, 
it's it's a, it's a cla it goes down in my opinion as one of the the classics. Um, you know, I was blown away by it. I was blown over by the production. I was blown over by the performance. Um, the companions. Uh, my my initial thoughts of having that many companions. Um, there, you know, you're going to have one or two just not not having enough to do, not having enough narrative, want to be set aside, left in the tides to do A and B. Everyone had an integral part to play in in the episode. Uh, Jody, Doctor, great, great performance again. Bradley Walsh, perfect, plenty to do. It's good to get about. He grow, he's growing on me the whole time. Uh, Tasman, Tasman and Ryan's characters again. Yeah. All top notch. How much has my view changed on Rosa? Um, at the time, I said, yeah, a big award winner, and the video dictates that. I was blown away by it, um, and I won't repeat uh, any of what I originally said because you've listened to it once already. So I had nothing but praise for Rosa. Um, coming forward now, um, it is has to be said a sterling piece of BBC television BBC have always done a very good period dramas right down for the the dressing the settings the mannerisms the lot and um, they've always done I mean look at look at stuff today look at uh, Downton Abbey look at um, Victoria um, Prince Harry or whatever you know, whatever whatever historical events have been they've always nine times out of ten been done by the BBC um, so we know they do good period dramas I don't think Rosa ultimately has place in a Doctor Who universe uh, I think I think Rosa if it was written as, as as the drama depicting the day of would have been fine without having a sci-fi history it really didn't need that um, apart from explaining the diversical nature of the story yeah, it was good, but I don't think it needed to be put on Doctor Who. I think Doctor Who has far more going for it than basically just just a race agenda. But as, as I said, Rosa, um, as a standalone story, works perfectly well on its own without Doctor Who's intervention. So, um, that said, from that point of view. But no, I, uh, again, I don't have any more or any, any less standing praise to say about Rosa, what hasn't already been said a thousand times already although that it does and it probably will stand the test of time as one of the ultimate pieces of TV regardless of, of the Doctor Who brand thanks very much for listening I hope you will stick around and continue to watch uh, for episode 4 and I look forward to this talk to you on the next video until